Michael, I have here in my hand the leaflet of a service by which you ask the students each year to renew their commitment to the rule of life, and it asks some pretty significant questions. For example, what do you seek? The celebrant asks, and the students respond, life in Christ. Uh, if, if this is the, the beginning point for the year where you ask a, a public and liturgical affirmation of the rule, how does that, that rule then uh, play out through the year? How do you, how do you get the students' uh, ongoing commitment to it, and, and how do you uh, round out the uh, year at its end so that they feel like they have, have been faithful to something, or if they've not, uh, uh, how, how do you go about making amends for that? Well, at the beginning of the year, as, you, as you've said, we, we have this renewal moment, right, this liturgical moment where we help articulate for the kids the words that they want to say. Right? These are heavy, significant words, and um, they mean them very much when they say them. This is the service at which they read out for each other the rule that they have written. Um, at the same time, they are anointed so that they are kind of given the power of Christ in their hearts and in their minds and the courage to follow this rule that they have committed themselves to, and it's a great beginning. Right? It has great momentum behind it, but it wouldn't mean anything if we didn't follow through on a weekly basis. And so as we look at a yearly plan of what it is that the youth group's going to be doing, every time we gather, we have to say that we have checked off our list two out of three aspects of the rule, right? Sometimes we hit the cycle, and those are great, great moments. Um, but we're always focused on the fact that at the end of it all, if we ask the kids, how did we do? in measuring up to the rule of life, the kids will be able to clearly say, well, we prayed. We spent time together praying for ourselves and for others. Uh, we served or we shared a meal together and we followed the rules that we've set out. And so during the course of the year, we're regularly revisiting it because the entire year and every event within the year is structured on those rules. Now at the end of the year, we turn over one of our services to the EYC, to the Episcopal Youth Community. Um, and they preach, which always gives me a little bit of pause, but I, I put great trust in them. Uh, and I think it's, it's true to say that 100% of the time, what they have preached on is in fact this rule of life that they have developed. They measure their year, they measure their four years of experience with our youth community by how this has um, given structure and foundation and bone to their lives.